The Ravens keep pace in the AFC playoff play. Oh, wow. Wild card race. Hey, oh, with a 34 to 17 win over the Cowboys. Marquise Hollywood Brown there with the touchdown. One of Lamar's two passing touchdowns on the night there in Baltimore. Welcome in, everybody, to NFL Total Access presented by Farmers Insurance. I'm Colleen Wolf, joined by my three friends over here Joe Thomas, Deesma Sr., Michael Irvin. And this was a big win for the Ravens in terms of their hunt to get to the playoffs. Uh, it wasn't a perfect night, but they got back Lamar Jackson. And let's take a look at how it all went down there. There is the quarterback right there warming up. He had to watch the Steelers game on TV. Now he's in this one. First quarter, Lamar Jackson sprints up the middle untouched. This would be a theme, guys. Spoiler alert, 37-yard touchdown, Joe. Yeah, the Cowboys linebackers struggled all night to fill the right gaps. Here, Leighton Van Der Esch finds uh, Lamar Jackson running in the opposite direction that he's running, and there's no safety behind, so Lamar Jackson's able to sprint directly into the end zone and hit his head on the goalpost. Second quarter here, Cowboys up 10-7. Andy Dalton's pass is tipped, and Patrick Queen scoops it up for the interception there. So his first interception of his NFL career. Very next play, Lamar Jackson hits a wide open mile. Miles Boykin there who takes it in for the 38 yard touchdown Steve. Yeah takes it in there play action opportunity for the linebackers to come up and then they also didn't uh, cover the cr crosser so touchdown. Plenty of missed opportunities for the Cowboys tonight. There were three missed field goals in this game. Next Cowboys drive here. Andy Dalton fires deep for CeeDee Lamb, and it is incomplete. Looks like maybe there's some illegal contact there, Irv. There's no doubt there's an illegal hold right here, as you can see on the can on the screen, and they just missed it. And that was a big play right there. If they could have picked uh, up maybe three good, points going into the half. Next play here, seven seconds left. Looks pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about. Andy Dalton with <laughs> all day to throw. So much time. Yep. CeeDee Lamb oh, right leaps here. up. Both hands. Oh. oh, my gosh. I couldn't believe he couldn't come down with that catch there, Joe. Oh. Yeah, for the people that were so outraged about Greg Williams blitzing the house at the end of the game last weekend, this is almost just as bad when you rush one guy and give him a free throw right into the end zone. Lamar Jackson had to get that visor off, had to come off third quarter. He drops it in the hands of Hollywood Brown, that 20-yard touchdown. The Ravens go on to win it 34-17. Here's John Harbaugh on his quarterback's performance tonight. One thing you do know about Lamar, you're going to get everything he's got, you know, and that's really all you can ask for. Uh, he's going to give you uh, whatever he has, and it turned out that he had a lot tonight, and that was good to see. I don't think you could – predict that he came out to practice he looked good in practice he uh he was uh, strong and healthy and um i'm just impressed with the fact that he was on top of the game plan so well he'd been studying obviously the whole time he's away and he played a great football game so the Ravens move to 7-5. and five. They still stay at that 9 seed, though, because everybody else in this loaded AFC wildcard hunt won as well this week. So they just got to keep it going at this point, but a huge win for them tonight. So after watching what you saw, their performance that they put on, yes, the Cowboys' defense did not look great at all, but do you think at this point, Steve, that the Ravens are back on track? I do believe the Ravens on back, are back on track, and I am so confident mm. that I am putting up a gift basket up against my coworker Joe Thomas just to show that this wasn't a fluke, that that one double-A or Division II team they just played, known as the Cowboys that Michael Irvin loves so much, that they're getting right, ready for playing a big, big, big college game against the Brownies and Joe Thomas. How about that? I'm talking about a big a holiday basket. basket, Joe. Not a cheap one. I'm talking about a good, not no fruit. Don't give me no fruit. <laughs> I want some Danishes. Wow, coffee. I didn't know that you would be so triggered by a fruit basket. I want all the good stuff. I want the rich I want the rich so, people stuff. Don't give me the fruits and the <laughs> grapefruits and the pomegranate. I don't want none of that. Wow, Joe. I want the good stuff. So what I you will got, bet Joe? that the Browns will not give up 300 yards rushing like the Cowboys did. I'll take that bet all day long. And when I win, I want to be We're not a betting. Uh, gift it of the jelly of the gift month baskets. Club because Use that's what I've always words. been looking for around the Christmas.
Uh, I'm, I'm looking to win a uh, gift basket of Jelly of the Month Club, but th this was a <laughs> knock-the-rust-off okay, preseason gotcha. type game for the Ravens. They did what they're really good at, which is rushing the football. They had almost 300 yards rushing. But I don't really agree with John Harbaugh that Lamar Jackson played great. He had about 100 yards passing and 12 He played outstanding. So he also... He also missed a lot of easy passes that we saw. Some of those bad habits that he's had that Troy talked about during the broadcast with dropping his elbow and letting the ball sail, those things showed up. But what he did do, and they can feel good about, is knocking a little bit of rust off and giving them a little bit of a head start on playing uh, the Browns next Monday night and feeling a little bit better about at least being together and getting a little bit more practice time between now and then. Yeah, and to talk about all the Ravens back, that means we're talking about are they back to being tantamount to the, what they were last year when Lamar was the MVP and then they went 14-2. and two. No, they are not that football team. Let's stop playing around now. They, have, they, they only threw 407 yards tonight, and, and as you say, they, he missed some throws. They, the, the Cleveland Browns will not be this easy as the Dallas Cowboys. You saw what the Browns did last week. They got a great running game with the one-two punch that they have. And yeah. uh, Baker Mayfield played his best football game. So I'm not saying that they are back until they get somewhere near what I saw last year. So much at stake in this game coming up with the Ravens and the Browns, including a bougie basket.